Once we have the molecular formula, or we happen to know the structure, we figure out the degrees of unsaturation, or du. Memorize this formula. We will use it often. 2 times the number of carbon atoms, plus 2, plus nitrogen, minus number of hydrogen atoms, minus halogens, all divided by 2. Ignore oxygen and sulfur atoms for the purpose of the formula. Degree of unsaturation tells us whether there are double bonds, triple bonds, or rings in the compound. If we look at a compound, butane here, that has no unsaturation, it has a formula of C4H10. This molecule has the maximum number of bonds to it, the maximum number of hydrogen atoms, and we call it completely saturated. Its degree of unsaturation is zero. If we look at 2-butene, C4H8, it has fewer number of hydrogen atoms, so it is unsaturated. We can calculate that it has one degree of unsaturation, which corresponds to the one double bond. Similarly, the cyclobutane ring, formula C4H8, also a degree of unsaturation of one. So one degree of unsaturation can correspond to one ring or one double bond in a molecule. Let's consider 2-butyne next, C4H6. The degree of unsaturation is 2. A take-home message is that if a compound is completely saturated, it will have a degree of unsaturation of 0. Each pi bond adds 1 degree of unsaturation. Each ring adds 1 degree of unsaturation. 2 pi bonds in the alkyne, 2 degrees of unsaturation. In cyclobutene, 1 ring and 1 pi bond so 2 degrees of unsaturation. 1 ring, 2 pi bonds, making a total of 3 degrees of unsaturation. You can confirm this by comparing back to the degrees of unsaturation formula. If we are solving for an unknown and you calculated a degree of unsaturation of 4 or more, you should start thinking about a phenyl ring in the molecule. Look at benzene, which has 1 ring and 3 pi bonds, a degree of unsaturation of 4. We see these rings in many molecules, so please keep them in mind. A degree of unsaturation of 4 can mean other things, like other heteroaromatic compounds, but a phenyl ring is one of the strong possibilities. In this example, we just have the molecular formula. We can use the degree of unsaturation formula, so 6 carbons times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14, minus 10 is 4, ignore oxygen, divide it all by 2. That gives us two degrees of unsaturation. So this molecule either has two pi bonds, it might be an alkyne, or it could be two alkenes, or a ring and an alkene. It could be two carbonyl groups, an alkene and a carbonyl group, etc. Any combination that would give two degrees of unsaturation. So degrees of unsaturation gives us some hints, but does not tell us the absolute structure of the molecule. Let's look at the last molecule. Again, remember to ignore oxygen and sulfur atoms when calculating degrees of unsaturation. We do have to build them into the molecule when we are solving for the unknown, but they don't figure into the degree of unsaturation formula. 10 carbon atoms times 2 is 20, plus 2 is 22, minus 14 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. There are 4 degrees of unsaturation in this molecule. We would want to be thinking about an aromatic ring like benzene. Practice calculating and interpreting the degrees of unsaturation in a formula or molecule. This should be quick and easy for you to do, making later problem solving easier.